Hey everybody and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We're still in the waiting room outside the prince's office. About to pick a fight with the sheriff that has way too many superpowers. Um, but I wanted to take this opportunity to show you something kind of interesting. So due to a little bit of internet research, I actually figured out how to fix our hand grenade. So as you can see, I just threw it on the ground. Now, look at that. Badly rendered hands, not correctly holding a hand grenade. <laughs> but um, so what the problem with the grenade was, and part of the reason it was removed from the main game, but then restored in the patch, is that when Nines gives you the grenade, he doesn't give you the grenade and like the ammo for the grenade. It still counts as a gun. So he gives you the possibility to throw a grenade. He doesn't actually give you a grenade because those are two separate things in the context of the game engine. Similar to my gun being, you know, having 30 bullets, but having the gun, you can have an empty gun but also you need ammunition. So the game only gives you one of those in that cutscene. So by dropping it and picking it up off the ground, you acquire one gun and one ammo for it. So I have one grenade now. Then it should work. Okay, we're gonna test it. We're gonna test it. I'm curious. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna save. I wanna see if this works because I don't wanna go in there and just throw nothing at him or throw air. That would be really embarrassing. All right, here we go. That works pretty well. Wonder if we can get a really good hit on the sheriff with that. Dude, I, I whipped it pretty good. Um, hmm. Problem is, he doesn't stand still that long. Alright, so the other thing that I'm going to try in this boss fight that I don't know how it works against the sheriff is I'm going to put my back to the wall. Um, not the wall like right where we come in, but like off to the side. Because it was brought to my attention that he mostly teleports behind you. So if he teleports behind you and you're behind the wall, what's going to happen? You know, I don't know. It, your guess is as good as mine. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to put our back to the wall right over here and see what happens. Oh, he's right there. Okay, so it's just left and right then instead of back. Well, can't say I didn't expect that. Yeah, keep hitting me. It's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll just keep slurshing. Did one whole hit. <laughs> Man, I, you know, I built this social character, this guy. He's, you know, really ready, uh, absolute best he can be. And he is very, very poor at frenzying. He's not a very cool vampire. All right, we're going to do this. So do your pose. Do your pose and come down here. I know you're going to do it. There you go. Suck this grenade. That was lackluster. Ooh. Oh, he's behind me. He's behind me. I'm in frenzy. I am no more. Okay, so, revelation. That grenade is not gonna do me much good. It was pretty cool blowing myself up to the second story, but if I can't, like, if I can't avoid killing myself, I should probably just take a chill pill at the grenade. As much as I want to use it, I want to use it on him, I want to do it. Whatever, man, I'm just gonna, that was interesting. Nope. Oh, come on. Frenzy, really? Why do I lose so much health when I frenzy? That doesn't make any sense. I think I've complained that exact complaint before, so I'm not going to do it anymore. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, you know what? Invisible grenade. Invisible grenade. What just happened? Grenade, you have forsaken me. Do the Bernie dance. Do the Bernie dance. Yeah, do it. Do it. Come on. You just bring it on. Bring it on. Need blood. Oh god, the trigger's stuck down. Game, please stop. It's a 
buddy. All right, there we go. All right. Have I tried kneeling this guy? Did I do that in the last episode? I don't think I did. Oh no, is my save file gonna have me throwing the grenade now? Oh no, okay, okay. <laughs> I was really worried. All right, um, hold on here. Let's start with the assault rifle, like usual, like huge. Let's just get ready. Oh, I'm in the... Come on, man, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh, that, I see. All right, all right, that is really ineffective. Why did I go into Frenzy? I don't know what happens to me. Why do I lose all of my health when I go into Frenzy? But I actually think that last time I established that that is him hitting me with his sword and his sword drains blood out of the character. So that's part of what the problem there was. I'm gonna attempt again. Yeah, finish your pose, that's fine. You jump down, I'm going up, I'm going upstairs. No, I'm not. I'm going into Frenzy randomly and dying. Okay. This is just good TV. This is just good TV. I mean, why would you watch Game of Thrones or Vampire Diaries or Halt and Catch Fire? Why would you watch Mr. Robot when you can watch me go into Frenzy randomly, repeatedly, and not be able to do anything? I am absolutely outpacing network television. That time he wasn't even there to hit me and I just lost all my health. I really need to find a way to get blood. Uh -huh. uh, okay, I don't, <clears throat> I'm wondering, can I go back down in the elevator? I cannot go back down in the elevator. So this is how much blood we have. We have to figure this out. All right, all right. It's cool, man, it's cool. All right, there we go. Doing pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna chill here. Where did all my health go? Where did all my health go, guys? I saw it go to zero. Was it the bats? Is it like the ambient bats? Are they like Krill from Gears of War and they're just shredding me? What is happening? All right, we're gonna just, we're gonna put it all in the Hail Mary. All right. Here we go. Oh! That didn't work. I've lost my will. I've lost my will to live. I just, I give up. I just don't care. I just don't care. Okay. Um, I have a plan. New plan. I'm gonna call this plan, new plan. I am going to set him on fire with my flamethrower and make him do the Bernie dance where he just stands there. And then you know what you do when someone stands there? You throw a grenade at them. That is my new plan. Be prepared. That's what we're doing. All right, it's gonna require some, some finger dexterity. All right, all right, all right, here we go. I missed. That is a viable plan, however. I'm just gonna crouch under here. Can you come get me in here? Can you get me in here? What is happening? Oh, all right, he can get to me in there, but he does kind of teleport around a lot and freak out. <laughs> I was hoping it was like Ming where his hitboxes would just miss me if I was on the stairs. Um, but that that same plan, we're gonna do, we're gonna do that plan again. I went pretty well. I mean, if I could just not, I think I have to get further away all right, here we go. He's gonna show up. All right, there you go. Grenade, far away as I can get. There. <gasps> Why does it do more damage to me than him? Game. Game designers, game programmers. Where'd you go? Could he get hit? Yep. It's very difficult to dodge, even though he does do a very, like it's easy to prepare, like that he's gonna teleport and then teleport again and then teleport. He always teleports behind you, like that I figured out. But the problem is it's really hard to dodge it because he seems to just roll forward and close the distance regardless of what you do. Um, it's an interesting, rather frustrating mechanic. All right, here we go, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Grenade. 
grenade. Go, 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 back. Okay. That, again, did more damage to me than him. And I'm in frenzy. I'm not, I'm not doing damage to him. Oh, that time I got a couple of good hits in. And my frenzied self knows, like, knows where he is, regardless of where he teleports. That's kind of cool. <sighs> hmm. All right, well, I'm going to try this grenade toss plan one more time. It doesn't seem to be working. It's, it's kind of fun, though. I wish that maybe it would work. It would be really nice if it did. All right, where are you? I know you're coming. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, now throw, aim at the ground, and use that. I like how I still get thrown 40 miles into the air. I'm just gonna stand on some railings, hold on. All right, there. What's up? Freaking out, freaking out. Oh yeah, his special move still hurts you no matter what you do. I forgot about that. All right, let's just get under here. Get under here and hang out. What's up, Sheriff? Okay, I'm not hating this. What is going on, though? It's like when I'm inaccessible, he just freaks out. I did just... Yeah, I got hit through there. Okay. So that's interesting. He doesn't really like being glitched out like that. That's, whew. all right, so, okay. Follow along, let's do assault rifle do the opening cutscene because I get all those free hits on him. Run under the stairs. No, assault rifle for the free hits, switch to the flamethrower, make him do the burning thing. So he's just standing there, then run under the stairs. All right, okay, we'll see. Run under the stairs. The stairs do not seem very safe long-term hiding spot but they do seem safe as a short-term hiding spot oh no i missed it oh i hit the button again oh i missed it yeah i deserve that final death you can see that my skull was not where my face was okay don't change the controls now i have enough trouble already I really don't need any more trouble oh guys we're so close we're so close that i can taste it i can taste something might just be frustration. I'll just keep you stunlocked forever, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, run into the fire. Run into the fire. Or just frenzy, the slowest frenzy ever. Oh, so close. And by close, I mean not at all close, but... I don't know what's causing that frenzy to tick so frequently. Oh my gosh. All right. I can do this, guys. I can do this. The power of positive thinking. Get the gun, get the gun. All right. It's gonna be over there. I am pretty sure I just set myself on fire. I am fairly confident that that is what just happened, was me setting myself on fire. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know what to tell you. Um, maybe you should go watch Game of Thrones. Um, I mean, the best show in the world, if you watch it over and over again. See, I just got all my blood drained. What is that attack? Like, what does that? Is it those... It's got to be the bats, but I don't know what causes them to hit me. Like, I... I'm very frustrated with that. That... that That's not very... Like... It's not very fair. I... I, like, I dig it. I dig the vampire bat attack, but, like... Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah, just friendly. That's fine. Just, just, just charge in there. It's totally fine. Suffer the final death. Yep. That's how I feel about that in general. All right, you know what? You know what? We're just gonna, all right. 
everything online, everything that says you should be very, very careful and you should use your flamethrower ammo very sparingly, one little tap at a time. That's, that's what they all recommend. So I'm gonna do the exact opposite of that. Get one hit killed. Once the, the bats have had their way with me, siphon off my blood and force me into frenzy. <sighs> All right. Um, I'll just do a grenade at the wall. <laughs> what is happening? Why are all my guns stuck with the trigger down? Let's load the game again. <laughs> it's not. I'm not quite ready for that level of commitment to just not giving a crap. We're gonna we're gonna do our best. Um, I think I really think throwing the grenade at him has the best like potential to hurt him, and like. I'm not really sure. Like, we'll see. Right, I'm gonna go under here. And I'm gonna, like... Alright, you're on fire. Alright, we're just... We're going down together, buddy. There. Did that hurt him? It didn't even hurt him. After the first time, he doesn't seem to react to the fire anymore. He just ignores it. Also, I, it looks like I'm breathing fire. That's pretty cool. Oh, and now it looks like I'm... What is that coming? What What is it when something's coming from your feet? Feet beams. Laser boots. I don't know. Mm, I'm a little bit discouraged. I'm... <sighs> Game. 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 If you die with the trigger down, you live with the trigger down. Life. Oh, golly. That's very frustrating. You know, Nines entrusted me with his hand grenade. He said nothing. It was, in fact, it was not referenced in dialogue at all. I asked for it. If I just hold the trigger, what happens? I'm not going to drop the grenade. But I'm also not... What? What? I'm outside the combat area. The grenade blew me into another area. Now hold on just a dang minute. That's an idea. All right, guys, this could be the best worst plan ever. I'm going to describe this as best worst plan alpha. Here we go. Yeah, you just hang out up here, man. You just come up here with us. No, I did not want to go into frenzy. Just back away. Just back away. Just back away. Just back away. Just, just. Okay, just be completely harmless. All right, here we go. Here we go, going in the door. Nope. Not that lucky. I wish that I was that lucky. Maybe if I detonate the grenade under the stairs? I'm not sure. I have a feeling that like his fight ends with a cutscene, and so I may not, that door is probably just for show. Um, I don't know, but let's try this. Okay. Oh, I started the fight. Why? Hi. Can I duck under some of his attacks? Was that what I saw there? I'm not sure if it was just the game freaking out or if I could actually do that. Uh oh, that doesn't bode well. Where's my grenade? It's just not in my hands? Nope, there it is. <laughs> well, I'm getting really good at locking myself out of the, the arena. Like, I mean, if that was my end goal, that would be great. I mean, if I wanted to be a scumbag, I could just no-clip. There would be, like, I could just no-clip through this fight and he would never be able to get me and it would be terrible. But, like, what fun is that? Like... <sighs> 
Alright, here we go. I'm good and stuck. Let's see if I can square it. Just drop it. Just straight down. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay. Blood, but I'm underneath the stairs. That's interesting. Where is he? I died holding the trigger. I can hear it. This is gonna be bad. I'm gonna have to reload again, again to get rid of this glitch because I think that's what causes it. Yep, I literally just dropped the grenade. Jump! Maybe it'll blow me up to the next floor. Where's the grenade? Where'd it go off? Huh? Oh. Okay. <sighs> Guys, I'm losing my mind. I don't know what to do. Nothing makes sense. Up is down, down is up. Dogs and cats living together. Which typically is pretty common. I don't know. Like, I can do this. This is a great strategy to keep him away for a little bit. But the problem is eventually he finds me and he hurts me. I can hear him getting hurt. I can see him through the stairs. Oh, I'm in frenzy. There goes all my health. I'm just repeatedly. Look at all the feet attempts I'm making. Like a million feet attempts. I see you over there. Well, okay, I don't see you, but I know you're over there. Defenseless. Yeah, I, I knew it was too good to last. Uh, to be fair, honestly, Harry Pottering this entire fight and just living under those stairs, not a bad plan. Honestly, oh man, crap, where's my grenade? Uh, it was cute the first time, game. It was cute the first time. All right, I think what we're gonna do, rather than than the grenade, we're gonna do this. We're gonna immediately go into the scope. Just get as many free hits as I can. Like, dump a whole clip in. Dude, I almost got him to half health before he moved. And then I immediately suffered final death for no reason whatsoever. I mean, he did hit me with his sword, which does cause death, but where did my health go? Like, what is the explanation for his va vampire bats just doing obscene amounts of damage? I was about to shoot him before I even got in here. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Shoot! Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Alright. Um, but if I can get him to half health and then crouch under the stairs, I have a solid chance of beating this boss fight. Although I really want to just not do this anymore. Mm, here we go. Alright, jump. Yeah, that'll do. And then, don't know. Don't know what happened. Yeah, fair. He just gets to kill me for free. <sighs> oh, blood, sweet blood. I wonder if I could go back to an earlier save. No, because I think we're fighting mostly vampires everywhere so there's really not anybody to feed on i mean i guess there are a couple of people but i don't really know yeah 
Oh no, I got caught. I got caught before I got under the stairs. Oh, I didn't stay under the stairs. Didn't stay under the stairs. <sighs> I have to cower. I have to cower for my life. Otherwise, I do not survive. Ugh. My voice is getting a little hoarse. I, I sound like Deckard Cain. Uh, a game. Why? Why does this happen every third or fourth time? Like, why not every time? I don't know, man. All right. My grenade just got thrown on the ground again. You know, when I said, why doesn't this happen every time? That was at frustration due to the fact that I didn't know what was causing it. It wasn't that I wanted it to keep happening forever. Wait, we'll just see. Okay, so my flamethrower is not shooting. Why would you hold the trigger state between reloads? Like, that is a bizarre conceptual choice. Is that a limitation of the engine? Pretty sure that doesn't happen in, like, Half-Life 2. Like, I'm pretty sure. Okay, shoot you in your face. Shoot you in your face. What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna bats me to death. That's what's gonna happen. Yep. And I just... Just do it. I just, I just don't know. All right, guys. Um, here's my plan. All right, you've you've suffered long enough. You've watched enough of me fight this guy. I'm going to put an optional bonus episode after this one, and the optional bonus episode is going to be just the rest of my failed attempts um to fight this guy. I'm just gonna record them in case that's what you want to watch. But that's all it's going to be. Um, there won't be any voice. There won't be any commentary. I'm just going to focus. I'm just going to, like, bar down, and I'm just going to do it. How does that sound? All right, so I will see you guys on the other side. Thank you so much for watching. Let's beat this game together. Let's do it.